Hey guys, McJeffries here, and welcome to episode 92 of You Don't Win Anything With Kids. Um, now in the last episode, uh, what did I do in the last episode? Let me check. I think, was it this match against Bristol Rovers? I think it was. We won 4-1. Since then, we've drawn one all against Shrewsbury, beat, whoops, beat Morecambe 2-0 at home, and drew two all with Walsall at home. And I'm disappointed with this result because uh, we ended up scoring a last minute equaliser from Sam Mantum. But we just played so poorly. Uh, and I did say in the last episode about setting up a friendly in order to experiment with tactics. And that's what I've got here. Don't ask me to pronounce their name. I think it's FC Nords Jaland. Jaland. Anyway, we got a friendly set up. And I've been into the uh, staff responsibility settings and I've turned off assistant manager takes control of friendly matches. And I think that's going to be a permanent feature now so that next pre-season I will be in charge of all the friendlies as well so I can experiment with tactics. Um, in the meantime though we have an away match but it's MK Dons in the second round of the Johnston's Paint Trophy. So that is what we're doing today. There we go. Let's play. Let's have a decent team set up first and let's try not to lose right so we're going to clear the entire team we're going to have Quintarka in goal uh, we're going to have right Via can't play it right back because he's injured so let's have hmm Hutchinson or Robinson Robinson I think looks the better choice we'll have him at right back then we will have um Warnock, I guess. It'll have to be at left back because Jones is injured and Cartwright needs a rest. And then at centre backs, we're going to have Hogan and we're going to have. St no, we're not going to have Hogan, we're going to have Partridge. Partridge and Stevens. Um, midfield. Uh, who can I have in midfield? McConnor? Hmm. Yeah. Let's do McConnor on the left. And Mantum on the right. Uh, although Delamond's back. Let's put Delamond in instead of Mantum. Let's see how he gets on. And I'm going to play Bobo in the hole. Because I said I will start him in the next game. So I'm going to keep my word there. Uh, and then we're going to have... Um, Beckhold on the left. Got too many players. That's the problem. Drusen on the right because Carino is injured and then up front I think we should have Morrison like that and we're only allowed five subs so we're going to have uh, O'Brien on the bench we're going to have Klopmus we're going to have Saville so that covers both left back, right back, centre back and centre mid. Um, we're also going to have Johnston. Because he covers all the midfield areas as well. And we're going to have... Oh, Johnston's only on 75% fitness. What's Thompson on? 83. Okay, we'll have Thompson. And we will have uh, Tomlin. Because he covers the striker role as well. Um, does that look right? But what, let's have Campbell on the bench instead of Tomlin. We'll have a little bit of speed for the second half if need be. Let's do this. Wasted enough time. We're basically four minutes in. And the match hasn't even started yet. Right. We're looking to get a good result. Um, the match has to be settled on the night. I think it goes straight to penalties if it's still a draw after 90 minutes. So, basically we, we want to win this before 90 minutes. Otherwise, we're going to have to face a penalty shootout, and I don't have any confidence in my team with penalties at the moment, either taking or saving. Even though we score penalties in normal matches, I reckon with the pressure of a penalty shootout, we'll end up missing. Uh, that didn't look good. Stevens bringing down Tankovic very early, and it worries me when they show the free kicks. Oh no, I'm okay. That wasn't too bad. Stadium MK looks very different on this game. In reality it's like a big circular bowl which is pretty much empty the whole time so they've got that realism done. 
because it, it looks very empty on here as well. Um, but the seats are black at Stadium MK, and the top tier hasn't been finished yet. Um, so it, it looks like a construction site most of the time, which is it's a really weird, surreal place to go to watch a football match. You end up, you sit so far back from the pitch as well, um, so you can hardly see what's going on down the other end. It's just a, a strange stadium. Uh, but anyway, we're not here to talk about the stadium, we're here to talk about the match. You see Beckhold tried to flick one over to Bobo and it just got cut out. Uh, that's all over the top, which Warnock should deal with. There you go, back to Pintaka. He belts it forward. To Morrison, who miscued his header. Stevens needs to make a good challenge, and he hasn't. Tankovic running in behind with the shot. Did I hit the crossbar, or did Quintarka just catch that? I don't know. Looks like a bit of both, really. Strange one. Delamon with free kick. Hits the wall. McConnor to Delamon again. Better strike, but over the bar. Um, how have we started? Six shots, none on target. They've had two and one. We need more shots on target. I don't really know how to uh, how to do that. How like how do you tell your team to hit their shots on target? Because surely you just tell them to shoot more, and that and then they just put them wherever. Um, so I don't know how to do that. If any again, if anyone knows, drop a comment in the box. Got you guys can teach me how to play as I'm teaching you things as well. I'd like to think I'm teaching you things. If I'm doing everything that you already know, then I suppose I need to uh, to brush up on my skills a little bit. But uh, Hopefully I am teaching you guys a, a trick or two, and I'd love to hear what you guys think as well. Uh, things like training tips and tactics and things like that. That would be really cool. So uh, if you could guys look, could let me know, that would be fantastic. Alright, Bobo with a good ball from Morrison. He needs to shoot, he doesn't. Comes to Drewson and McLaughlin with the save. Um, I don't like their goalkeeper kit. It's weird. Orange with like a white stripe down the middle. It's a, a strange one. Mind you, I've got strange kits as well, so I can't really talk. Delamont's header to Morrison. 1-0. There we go. Cooking on gas now. That was our 11th shot. Third on target. And we finally get a goal. Um, and it only took 32 minutes to get all those shots away. This is a really good corner from Bobo. Uh, well won in the air from Delamont. And Morrison just at the fr front post. I think their defence were ball-watching a little bit there. They had no one on the posts. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's us in the lead. Robinson's just got clattered. Um, might wait till half-time before we uh, decide what to do with him. We've got Klopp's on the bench, though, so uh, we've got options. Bobo there hacking it clear. Bobo's having a good game by the looks of it. Match rate is 7.8, highest in the team so far. Um, he's doing his on gaunch roll quite well. Uh, I think he's the... I think he's actually the best player who, who we've got in that position to do that role. Um, so he might be getting a few more starts now. Right, we are at half-time, and you can see that there's an injury to Partridge and there's an injury to Robinson. But Robinson is not in the best of shape, so I'm going to bring Klopmas on for this second half. And we have still got Saville, who we can bring on for Partridge if need be. And we don't sacrifice our midfield sub, because we've got Thompson on the bench as well. So, uh... Again, versatility in your squad is key to a successful campaign. There is Klopmas. He finds Drewson. Back to Klopmas. Inside Delamond. Uh, first pass blocked. Connor has made himself free, though. We make a lot of space for ourselves on big pitches. So that's quite good. Um, I'm not sure how big the pitch is going to be at um, the Majeffries Arena when we go back there. Uh, and it's at such a crucial time of the season as well because it'll be January so the second half of the season we're going to need a big p penalty where's that come from? that looked like a perfectly good challenge to me that's an interesting one Barnett holding his leg for some reason who's going to take this penalty then? is it going to be Bobo? nope, it's going to be McConnor and he scores, ok, we're 2-0 up much better performance from the guys. We've just got to hold on to the lead now. That was really good. I still don't know why that was a penalty, though. That's an absolute mystery to me. 
Um, but am I going to complain? Probably not. Do I have reason to complain? No. I'll take this 2-0 lead so far and hopefully build on it. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, pitches. We're going to need a big pitch to exploit all the space in the second half of the season and try and open up teams a bit more and, and get more goals that way. Uh, again, that's why I'm experimenting with tactics. So, another good shot from Dom on there. Um, so if we come back to the, the stadium and they've got a small pitch, for one reason or another, I'm not going to be the best pleased. It means we're going to be forced to play quite narrow, which I don't really want to do. Uh, I never like playing narrow, because you can see I like to get the ball down the wing and get crosses in. Alright, Quintarka taking this free kick quite high up the pitch. Good kick, mine. Found Bobo. Delamond. Um, yep, he does get it through for Bobo. Good ball out wide for Drewson. Good little skip past the challenge there from Drewson. Good ball to the back post where Beck holds waiting. He knocks it back for Warnock, who's come a long way forward and hasn't done anything with it. O'Connor did well to, to cut that one out, though. Comes for Warnock again. That's better. Finds Beckhold this time. He's been tackled. Managed to get a shot away, though, and it's gone just over. We're definitely we're creating more and more chances as this game goes on. We've had 14 shots, 5 on target. We've actually had more shots on target than MK have had shots. But they've had three out of four on target. So they're three quarters. We're not. I don't know what we are. Nowhere near that. Um, we have another corner. Bobo taking that one as well. Front post delivery. Morrison, 3-0. Great goal. Look at Bobo's match rating, 9.0. He's had an absolute barnstormer out there today. Look at this. Look at the speed and whip on this corner. All it takes is a touch and it goes in. That is fantastic. I'm actually going to make a sub now because Delamond is looking a bit jaded out there. 71% fitness. My mouse still doesn't work. I'm going to bring Saville on. Oops, not for Warnock. That's what I mean about my mouse doesn't work. There we go, for Delamond. So get Saville a run out. I'm quite impressed with Saville actually. He, d he does well wherever I ask him to play. So I've had to ask him to play centre back more recently um, with a couple of injuries and suspensions and centre midfield which is where he is now of course and he does link up well with his, his teammates which I said either in the last episode or the episode before I can't remember now but um, partnerships and being able to link up well with teammates is, is one of the key features as to how a team of average players can become a team of good players because if you can link up well and if you have a mutual understanding you can exploit each other's strengths and that's where success comes from. Could this be a goal for Bobo? Not quite the first time, but on the second time he gets it in. And finally he deserves a goal and he's scored it. 9.3 match rating. McConnor is 8.0. Uh, Morrison is 8.8. .8. He's done well out there as well today. I had a feeling he had a goal in him. I didn't think he had two. And of course McConnor with the penalty and he's been doing really well in that midfield role as well. Um, deep line playmaker he's been playing at the moment uh, so yeah I'm really really impressed with how the team are playing out there today tearing MK Dons apart and this of course means we progress to the next stage of the competition and it's a trophy that we can have a chance of winning now uh, that's a good ball for Morrison tried to dink it over the top of the keeper we've won a corner and we know what's going to happen from this Bobo's going to hit hopefully a decent cross into the box. It was a decent cross and Bennett, not Bennett, Barnett, sorry, nearly uh, scoring an own goal. Keeper had to palm it away. Bobo on a free kick now. And again, a good flight on the ball. Bloody hell, their keeper is having, despite the fact he's let four goals in, I think their keeper's having a pretty good game. He's keeping out a few good ones there. That was a poor one from Bobo. Uh, first poor thing I've seen him do all game actually uh, and that, that does make a change normally I see players make a lot of mistakes I'm going to make one final sub because you can see McConnor is not doing great either so we're going to bring Thompson on it's Thompson's return from injury as well uh, gives him a, a few minutes run around maybe even less than a few minutes run around actually 
by the time he comes on the pitch it'll pretty much be full time we'll call it a time waster there we go he's on now with a couple of minutes to go Bobo with the corner comes out to Thompson we know he's got a good shot on him Oof, pulls a save out of McLaughlin and you remember Thompson when he scored a hat-trick last season uh, two of them were powerful long range shots I think the third one was a tap in if I remember rightly uh, see he's done well to hold on to the ball there he's just been clattered there I'd, I'd stay down if someone hit me that hard I think might not ever walk again knowing me good save there from Quintarka right at the end of the match they finally get another shot look at that actually 19 shots 10 on target considering we've only scored 4 that shows how good a game McLaughlin has had he's managed to keep out 4 not 4 sorry 6 of our shots and they're not easy ones either I don't know whether they count that Bobo free kick either because he did well on that one that's a mistake from Partridge and Barnett Tyrone Barnett with the goal that was not good from Matt Partridge that was really really poor I hope he holds his hands up on that one and says that's my fault no, there was no pressure on that at all he could have let that go back to Quintarka if he wanted to and then once he'd given it away there was no effort to, to actually track back and try and win it back for the team um, so I'm not happy with him for that one uh, apart from that though I am pleased with how well the team have played so yeah we are clear and deserved winners shame we couldn't keep a clean sheet but we have won all the same so that's that game out of the way guys uh, Bobo won man of the match deservedly so um, and then the next episode I believe is that friendly that I was talking about so uh, we'll do a whole thing on tactics before that match and then we'll experiment during the match um, probably have two teams of 11 play first half second half and just see how it goes from there I'll explain more about that in the next episode because I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm going to be doing um, but like I said, hopefully we, we come up with a few good tactics that will help us win a few more games this season and not have these uh, horrible draw scenarios going on. Um, so until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. Um, if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.